and hello there from Lights and Gear. I'd like to present to you a new uh, flashlight review today and I have uh, something from Nightcore which has come out with a limited edition of one of their more recent flashlights. Uh, we have the EC4 GT to talk about today and um, this light, I guess, came out uh, a little while ago in a standard edition, but now they have the uh, limited edition, uh, which adds two different uh, colors to the bezel, which is uh, quite, uh, quite nice, actually. So you can see right here on the box, EC4GT, limited edition, and this one happens to be in sort of a, um, a reddish color, almost reddish, almost... almost uh, part partly red, partly pink. I'm not sure what you'd actually call that, but um, another color they have in this right now is blue, uh, sort of a light, a lightish blue. So uh, not much on the front of the box, as you can see. But if you turn the box around, you do get uh, a fair amount of information here, and uh, there is a barcode here, which I actually haven't uh, tried yet. Um, but a thousand lumens is the output and will run up to 380 hours in ultra low mode and you also have a beam distance of about 475 meters and that is thanks to the Cree XPL High V3 LED it's a meter and a half impact resistant and two meters submersible so there's quite a bit of uh, features on this particular light and there you go right there with the uh, with the XPL high LED which gives it that uh, very long range uh, beam distance so uh, and it also has the unibody die cast uh, technology I'm not exactly sure what that means but uh, sounds pretty good uh, so you get a, a very um, sizable and industrial industrial strength box with this flashlight so let's take off the top and here you go and uh, first thing you see is the flashlight, which is uh, just a little over six inches long. It's not a peewee, and uh, you may not even consider it an EDC light uh, in a sense that you can't just stick it in your pocket um, unless you've got enormous pockets. But uh, it does come with a couple of accessories, which we'll get to here in a second, which might make it a little bit easier to carry. So there's your uh, there's your model model name right there, and it does have these large cooling fins, and it seems to be pretty good um, on heat. So it it does have a, a particular system where it draws the heat right down from the from the lens all the way down through the body of the light. So I think you'll be quite pleased with it as far as it not getting too hot, even though it will run up to a thousand lumens. And here's your color differential right here your red on the end of the bezel and as I say this also comes in a, in a nice blue as well so here's your LED in there your XPL very small flat LED and this being uh, the, the uh, uh, reflector here being smooth is what uh, helps to give it the uh, the good the good range as well uh, your tail cap is uh, a little bit different than most and uh, this has sort of a locking mechanism on it. At the end of the tail cap is actually a screw here. There's a uh, so you can attach like a tripod in here. And the tail cap comes off by unscrewing this way, and then it just uh, comes right off like that. But you have to make sure you put the batteries in correctly. I did say batteries. It takes two 18650 batteries. A little unusual or a little. Um, not quite the usual for uh, many of Nightcore flashlights. So it has two 18650, and as you can see, one they both have to go in opposite, um, and that is how the tail cap goes on too. Obviously, with the spring on the negative end of the one light, and the the the, uh, the positive end over here, or on the positive end of this flashlight. But uh, that's how the the tail cap goes on, and uh, that's how the batteries go in in this particular fashion. You can also use disposable CR123s or 16340 rechargeables. With those, of course, you would need four batteries 
but um, I think for safety's sake it's better to use the two 18650 because I don't think you'll get anything uh, I don't think it should would be any brighter specifically with the other batteries but not quite as safe to run those batteries in um, in doubles as it is with the uh, with the 18650 so I would I would go with the uh, with a larger battery uh, anyway and here are your switches this is uh, on and off and this is your mode change so what do we get else what do we get aside from the flashlight in the box nice foam cut out there um, oh yes I also took out the uh, warranty card which is right here warranty card and uh, informational uh, card here um, then you get uh, the manual pretty good manual and you also get a spare packet here with um, a couple of is there an o-ring in here should be an o-ring in here uh, this is actually an adjustable lanyard actually I don't see an o-ring in here but it is an adjustable lanyard and last but not least is a very nice belt sheath which will hold the light very securely to your belt or wherever you want to attach it to so there are your accessories nothing else in the box so let's uh, turn on the light it does have well actually let's look at the instruction manual for a second here just a couple of bits of information uh, which I'd like to pass along uh, weight wise it is it is hefty it's um, uh, let's see 6.1 inches and uh, 6 ounces for the weight that's without the battery I believe I think with the batteries I think it, I think it might be 9 ounces I think with the batteries so it does have a little bit of oh sorry does have a little bit of uh, heft to it um, and uh, as far as the brightness levels which are over here you get uh, ultra low and low and medium and high and turbo so one lumen 50 lumens 200 420 and 1000 and uh, things are a little bit the the brightness it says is the same with the four battery configuration it just has less run time with the four batteries as opposed to the 18650 um, and um, there's just a bit more information here a few of the features on the light maximum beam throw and so forth and uh, direct access to ultra low and turbo which we'll get to here in a second as well and a smooth reflector of course so anyway um, let's get to the uh, operational side of things as I put all this away and we're going to start out on the very low mode we're going to start off on uh, ultra low so Oh, that didn't quite start off on ultra low, did it? No, it did not. Okay, there's ultra low. So let me turn the light off here. And we will see the ultra low beam. And there it is. And uh, that's it's a it's a very as you can see it's a very uh, a very spot like beam spotlight like beam. Uh, very bullseye in the center and that does help to uh, carry it to greater distances as well so here's your ultra low you can see very well in the dark and pitch dark on the ultra low mode even into the next room you can see on the ultra low mode okay so there's ultra low and uh, with each press of the mode switch of course I will advance to the next level there's low there's medium there's high and there's turbo and if you visit my website at lightsandgear.com the link is below you can take a look at the outdoor shots where I've uh, pointed it at some distant trees which is pretty cool you can check out those pictures on the written review so this is turbo right now so you can see there that you get a, obviously a very good beam um, so let's just uh, run down what else the buttons do here uh, because right now I'm on turbo obviously if I press the mode switch again I get right back to ultra low if I turn the light off let me just turn the other light 
on here a little bit. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so if I turn the light off, and if I press and hold the uh, on-off button, I will instantly get the ultra-low mode. And you can do that from any mode you have already happened to be in. So that's instant access to ultra-low. I can also get instant access to turbo. And I do that when it's off by pressing and holding the mode switch. Then I get instant turbo. So that's pretty nifty. Instant access to both ultra-low and turbo. From the off position, I can press the mode switch and this will blink. The power button blinks and if it does so three times then that tells me that I've got at least 50% power in the batteries. Try that again. One, two, three. So I have at least 50% or more power in the batteries. If it blinks twice then I think that means it's down to about 20% and if it blinks once that means it's below that amount and you should probably charge the batteries. So that's your little voltage battery indicator. Um, let's see, it also has instant strobe. Now to get, I didn't talk about the flashing mode. You get strobe, location, beacon, and SOS. And the general way to get to those modes is by holding the mode switch while you're already in one of the other modes. So here is strobe. If I press and hold again, I go to Location Beacon. And if I press and hold again, I go to SOS. And if I just give it one quick press from that, I go back to the regular lighting mode again. If I, press and, if I was to press and hold it, it would just keep cycling through the flashing modes. Now if I'm in Off and I want Instant Strobe, all I have to do is double click the mode switch like that and I go into instant strobe from being completely off and then if I give it one tap I'm completely off again so that's pretty nifty and there's also a lockout feature on this if you press and hold both buttons and I hope this works there I think it flashed um, it's now supposed to be locked out and it is no button will work. No button works at all. So that's the lockout. Press and hold both buttons. To unlock it, I press and hold both buttons again. And there you go. It's back on and it's unlocked. So that's one way of keeping it from possible um, accidental activation if you happen to be worried about that. So anyway, that has been our demonstration today of the EC4GT Limited Edition with the red bezel from Nightcore. Uh, personally, I think it's a pretty darn good light. It is a little bit large. Um, can't just stick it in your pocket and go, but it does have the belt sheath. It's uh, powerfully bright. It doesn't get hot. It has uh, great reach with the LED and uh, good features there on the little buttons. So I would check it out. Um, it was provided to me by my friends at GearBest, and you can check out their link below and uh, see it on their website, pick it up for a good price, and read, by, read my uh, written review there at uh, lightsandgear.com for more flashlights, batteries, and chargers. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, we will catch you around the corner. Bye-bye.